I want to start off the show because I've been tweeting about this a lot. Uh, just to say a nice uh, few words about this guy Ralph that I used to know. He was the, one of the first people I met in New York City. Ralph Sorella, one of the first people I met. I met him randomly out and he asked for my number and we were talking and I ended up going to this Hugh Hefner Friars Roast um, comedy thing. And I remember Ralph being so nice there. He was like introducing me to everybody. He introduced me to Donald Trump. He introduced me to Carson Daly, like all these people. He invited me to Nobu. He was so nice. And I think about how easy it was to talk to him and how warm he was. And I just think, my God, I wanna make sure I'm like that. I wanna be so inclusive like he was. I want to be the person that reaches out and invites people place in it, places and is warm. Every single Christmas party, every single Howard Stern Christmas party I went to, he was like the friendliest one at everyone. And he went up to everybody, no matter who it was, no matter how big or small, he was the same to everyone. Oh, I just yeah. love that about him. And I, I remember him so fondly from that. Is there a funeral for Ralph? Are you going? I am not uh, nearby that where that funeral would be, so I, I will not be going. But I have great memories of him. If it wasn't for Ralph, this guy that just passed away, if it wasn't yeah. for him, I would not have gone to the Howard Stern birthday party, which was like a huge deal. I needed to go with someone for some reason, and I was his plus one. I was, I was, his, I was Ralph Sorella's plus one for the Howard Stern birthday party, which was a complete blast and amazing and so much fun. Too. On what age was Ralph? He was only 58. So he died at 58. He did not have health insurance for a very long time, and he avoided going to the doctor when he had symptoms. He didn't go to the doctor because he didn't have health insurance. He didn't want to pay for it and he ended up having a lymphoma. And then uh, they said it was curable, but he caught it too late. And then he did some kind of like routine medical procedure and his heart gave out. So that just shows like maybe do, I don't know what it shows because he actually died at the doctor. So yeah. I don't know if he like didn't go to the doctor, if that wouldn't have happened, it's actually kind of confusing. So I like don't like going to the doctor. I completely avoid it. But the fact that he died like on the operating table, did he need to be on that operating table? I don't know, but he was a very nice guy. I had fun with him at that birthday party. I had fun with him every year of the Christmas party. He was so uh, just like warm and like he wanted you to be a part of it. He was so happy to be a part of it. And he, you could tell he really appreciated being there every year. So I wanna be like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a part of Ralph with me and everywhere I go, I'm gonna, just gonna be so grateful to be with yes. you, Aaron, and you, Tommy. Tommy, and you know, West Palm Beach, this guy over here. I know you, you look familiar. I'm no from England. From England. Oh, you're from England? England, wow. Oh. I need to run the marathon on, um, on Sunday. Are you running the marathon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, congratulations, yeah, that's so cool. Cheers. Awesome, he's running the marathon, that's great. Yeah, I think, uh, it was like, you know, we just lost Ralph from the Howard Stern show. He was only 58 years old. You know, we don't know how long our life is going to be. Exactly. So you need to live for today. That's what you need to do. If you love someone, you need to tell them. Wasn't that, by the way, wasn't that horrible about him dying? I think it almost died. It's just like, it's good. He's so young. People who are like fans of the Howard Stern show, like traumatized. And all of a sudden, he's dead. Wait, what about Ralph? Yeah, but um, it was like very upsetting. Plus, he's like, guys, he's like that. I mean, it was I like know. Out of nowhere. I know. Well, apparently, he was sick for a while, and then I guess he was in a routine surgery, and his heart gave out, and that's really scary. The whole thing is horrible. I know, it's like really upsetting. But but something about Ralph is I I do f you know what he said his one regret was? Did you hear that on the show? Wait, wait, I'm hearing he's sick with the future going. What? So so on the Howard Stern show. Right. Yeah. Ralph, Howard said this about Ralph. Howard said that Ralph, his one regret in his life is he never found someone. He never was in a relationship, Ralph. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, and, and he said, um, like, when he was about to die, the day before Ralph died, I'm pretty sure Howard Stern said that he spoke with him and he was regretful that he didn't have someone in his life. And I started crying when I heard that. Yeah. Because I remember Ralph, you know, he was, you know, he was like with this one, you know, he was like, you know, flirting a lot, but he never like had a relationship. So that just shows he want, he was very sad to go to the hospital alone that day. 
And so you don't want to be that person that pushes everybody away. And then when yeah. you're dying in the hospital, you're completely alone and have no one. And that's what Howard Stern said. I was listening to it. I was crying listening to that. And I, I was I was crying listening about Ralph because I knew Ralph very well, like pretty well when I was, especially when I was 18, he would call me like all the time. And, and it's mm -hmm. just interesting to think of like him, like being so active and like calling like women and like dating. And, you know, he took me all these places, but he, he never found like someone he loved. And, and that's sad. What was the question, Rhonda? Were you crying because of what happened with Ralph? That was very depressing, the whole Ralph uh, thing. The Ralph thing uh, kind of hit me hard. You know, Ralph, yeah. his like last uh, words were, I wish I had somebody to go to the hospital with me. Did you hear that? No, no, you told me that. I mean, yeah, I that was bad. It, but the whole thing is just, it was very upsetting, the whole thing. I mean, the even I don't even film the way you do, and I even got upset over it. Well, but I think if you were uh, somebody who was, I mean, I've been listening to that show since the 90s. I still remember him with those pointers. Like, he was looking at a picture of a woman and put you know, point out the things that were bad about her. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't love that, Rhonda. There was things I definitely didn't like about Ralph, but there's certain things that stood out to me in that he was so nice to me. Like, he invited me to freaking everything. Like, everything he included me. And up until, like, you know, Howard's birthday party, if it wasn't for Ralph, I wouldn't have gone. I was his plus one. So, you know, I appreciate that. And I want to be that person for other people, like the way Ralph was. He was very inclusive. And, mm -hmm. you know, he was fun, he was warm, and it was very sad that he was dying alone. He died alone, mm -hmm. and he didn't have anyone. And I don't remember him, like, dating anybody. Um, I don't know if, like, he thinks that we dated, but, I mean, he was just, definitely just my friend. But, I mean, he was, like, alone a lot of his life, and that is so scary that, you know, you could be... See, what's scary for me is, like, I could have, like, a perfectly nice guy like Tommy, and then, like, you know, say, oh, no. And then go to, like, some, like, murderer, like, Spartan. <laughs> you know? Why? <laughs> I don't know. What's with this bad boy I craze going on, like, I, with every woman these days? I know. It's really bad. It's, it's, it's fucked a, up. It's an illness. You don't want a woman a like that, well, though. He doesn't want, you should want a woman that wants that. I was going to say. And, I, you know, I do I think that Ralph thing, and, and it may be while you were crying before and feeling bad. Because I think that, had, I know you have going through other stuff as well, but I think that that didn't help. Because it is a, anybody who's connected to that show, even as a viewer, uh, that guy was in that show for years, you know, and I think that was just very depressing what, what happened and I everything know. about him, his connection to everybody and I, you know, and well, he was a caller. He, he was like a, such a long term caller of the show yeah, that, that we all felt like much closer to him than we were or even if we didn't know him. Like, yeah, like, and like I Howard mean, Stern, like, it, you know, everybody feels like they're friends with Howard Stern. So we feel like right. our friend lost his best friend. And it was like really sad um, listening to, to him talk about Ralph. And I, I, I felt really sad, yeah. Howard's voice. When Fred, did you hear when Fred played the drop of uh, Ralph's laugh? Did you hear that part? I was just going in and out of it. I had it on and I was doing something. I had it on Sirius and I was doing something else and I had it on again. So I oh, heard okay. Like, that was like the um, worst part, in my opinion, because Howard like grunted in pain hearing Ralph's laugh. It was so sad. And, you know, I remember even watching the show in the 90s. Remember when they used to be on... Uh, like the E-Network? Or and Channel 9. Yeah, and they put it. Uh, he was actually, I didn't like when he did that thing with the women and he would point out what was I don't like that. Like, but it was like, I have to say, I mean, I'm almost the same to his man, but I, it was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like, like, I don't like sexualizing women at all. But I'll tell you something Ralph was super nice to me, like, only yeah. like very classy compliments. Um, right. Just, just couldn't be nicer, honestly. So, you know, that might have been shtick for the, sh the show. I don't know. But he never was like that to me. He was so sweet. And I, I think what's also sad about it is he's so young. I mean, it's yeah. very frightening that you could be in your 50s because everybody thinks they're going to live until their 80s or whatever. And you could be in your 50s living an interest. Like he had, it seemed like he had a nice life, an interesting life. And all of a sudden, you get struck down by something in a few months, you're dead. Like, that's Honestly, it. Honestly, he didn't have health insurance. That is weird to me. So like, he didn't have any health insurance. He had all these symptoms of being sick, and he didn't go to the doctor. Like, to me, like, that's, like, such a wake-up call for people. If you have, um, <laughs> you know, if you if you have, like, symptoms of something, you need to go to the doctor. He, he was, like, I don't think he got paid very much, honestly. Was it? 
guy that, um, oh God, the guy from, um, the super famous guy from the internet. I mean, oh. that guy who, the guy who had cancer and he didn't want to go, I can't remember his name right now, like my mind is well, I'm exhausted already. Um, Steve, Steve Jobs. Oh, Steve Jobs? Yeah, then he, um, then he, he had cancer and he didn't want to get treatment either and he just oh, died. I didn't know, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, certain kind oh. of cancers you find out and then like two days later you're dead. So, you know, that could be, I mean, I don't know his exact situation, but it was really super sad. I, I think I just learned from that in, in appreciating, you know, the moment and the people that are, you know, with you now. Um, I think Ralph did appreciate his friends. He was so nice. I remember like him and Robin were so close. Him and Howard were so close. Him and Beth, him and Beth were like, like, like this, like they were so close at all these parties. They were like wrapped around each other. He was always hugging everybody. I'm not a hugger, but you know, it's a good way to be, I think.